it's pretty obvious that a business needs to take every discount that is offered. If the cost of the merchandise purchased is lowered, a business can resell the merchandise at a more competitive price. In a series trade discount, the first discount is taken from the list price, and each succeeding discount is taken from the remaining reduced amount. It seems that a 2010 discount would be better than a 1020 discount because the 20% is taken first from the larger amount. Is this true? Is a 15105 trade discount better than a 51015 trade discount? To answer your question, let's compare the 51015 trade discount and the 15105 trade discount. Hello, I'm Leanne Spar, and in this section we will be discussing single discount equivalents. The specific objectives we will cover are we will express a series discount as an equivalent single discount. We will find the net cost by multiplying the list price by the complements of the single discounts in a series, and we will find the list price given the series discount and the net cost. Let's look at a problem in which we find a single discount equivalent to a series discount. Find the net cost equivalent and the single discount equivalent for a 51015 series discount. It's very important that we remember that we never round net cost equivalents or single discount equivalents. The net cost equivalent is found by multiplying the complements of the discounts. So a 5% discount complement will be 0.95 times 10% complement will be 0 0.9, 90%. And 15% will be 85% or 0.85. And when we multiply these, we get a net cost equivalent of 0.72675. Now, the single discount equivalent is 1 minus the net cost equivalent. So the single discount equivalent here will be 1 minus 0.72675 or 0.27325. The single discount equivalent to the series discount here is 27.325%. So a 5, 10, 15 series discount is equivalent to a single discount of 27.325%. We can also show that the order does not matter in calculating the net cost equivalent. If the series discount is written 15105 rather than 51015, we will see that our complements will be 85% times 90% times 95% and our net cost equivalent will be exactly the same. Let's look at an example of finding the net cost. The list price of an Oak Dinette set is $495. Find the net cost if trade discounts of 20, 15, 5 are offered. Net cost is always equal to list price times net cost equivalent. So the net cost will be $495 multiplied times the net cost equivalent. The complement of 20% is 80%. The complement of 15% is 85%, and the complement of 5% is 95%. So the net cost here will be $319.77. Now let's look at an exercise in which we find the list price given the series discount and the net cost. Find the list price of a Melita Espresso Cappuccino coffee maker having a series discount of 10, 30, 20, and a net cost of $113.40. The series discount 
will be 90% times 70% times 80% giving us 0.504, which is the percent paid. As we know, base equals part divided by rate. So the base will be $113.40 divided by the percent paid, 0.504. So the base is the list price, which is $225 is the list price of the coffee maker. In this section, we have discussed single discount equivalents. In business, single discount equivalents are very important in finding net costs. So now it's time for you to go and practice some exercises.